who you, when Tarjay calls, that, that's a big order. They, 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 that's, that's big right there. Uh-huh. What, what was that process like for you? Was it just the fact that your product was good and it was selling? Was it a bunch of marketing you did? Was it a bunch of hype? How, how does Target even know that Camille Rose exists? Target didn't know anything about Camille Rose. Target didn't even know I was in Whole Foods. Target knew nothing. So let me let me talk about that story. I invested in doing a gift show. I had my little handmade concoctions that I spent two days making everything with my little booty handcrafted labels. I said, you know what? I'm gonna do a um a natural show. I did a natural show. Um, and it was boring and it was dry. Is wow, I'm like, what the world am I doing? Like, that was my first big thing that I invested in for my brand. And I'm just standing there trying to grab somebody to talk to. And uh, the lesson here is a guy came to my booth, uh, he had on, he had a backpack, uh, white guy, kind of long hair, flip flops, you know. And I guess he was bored too. So he stopped at my booth and he said, hmm, tell me about your line. Like that. And in my mind, I was like, I'm not telling this white guy. It's not for you, you know. I'm not <laughs> but then I was like, no. Nuh-uh. I'm not profiling nobody. You want to listen? I'm going to start talking. And then I proceeded to tell him about me. I'm a mom of five. You know, this is how Camille Rose got started. Da, 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 da. He's like, I got five kids too. You know, and then after we had our conversation, he pulled out his business card. He said, I'm going to buy you from Target. I would love to fly you out. And that's how I got into Target. What show was this that you, you had your booth set up in? Yes, it was, called, it was in Atlanta. I drove from Louisiana to Atlanta. It was called the World Natural Hair Show. It was there a fall show so they have two shows they have a big spring show and then they have a they started they don't do the fall show anymore because it wasn't it didn't pop off for them so I did that very first fall show where it was you know not as popular as the spring show how expensive do you remember because these shows are not cheap to get into Uh, well the, the, you need to look for show. No, my booth space was only like two, three hundred dollars. So you look for those small shows that's in the community. You know, if that's what you can do. If you can't start big, like there's shows out there now that's Expo West, Expo East, and things like that that are Cosmo Prop. They're huge. Now you're talking about thousands of dollars. But remember what I said, you grow at, at your own pace and grow at your own rate. So I, I could afford that. If you had people in there coming in that show, I'm going to start talking and I'm going to start educating and I'm going to do the grassroots campaign. Mm. And that's what I did. And, and I was in the right place at the right time because luckily that was a buyer from Target. And when he said, he gave me his card, you know what came to my mind after he did that? I was like, thank God. I didn't judge a person based off of what their skin color was or what they looked like. You know, I took my time. I didn't profile. I sat up there and talked to that man like he was a, a texture sister with a wash and go or afro. Mm-hmm. And I told him about every product I had and how I got started. You know, that was not luck. I'm a true believer in in God and everything is divine. And it was that that's divine, right? Like like you invested in yourself. You 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 started out at a small show, something that you could afford. Right? Who would ever think? that a buyer from Target 
would be at one of those small shows. And he, he, I, from what you're seeing, he has a backpack. He's very unassuming. He's a white guy. Some you, You're not thinking that I could possibly be talking to somebody who could potentially change my life. But, I wasn't in retail chain at all. None of that was in my mind. So yeah. one touch of God's favor can catapult you to that next level. And that's exactly what happened. 100%. But you, you, you know what? The, the, the big lesson here is you got to show up for life. You have to show up because you don't know where your blessings are going to come from. You, had no, you just don't know. And sometimes people can look at these opportunities and be like, oh, I'm above that. Or, or this is just too small for me. Like, I don't need to waste. You don't know oh. where your blessing is going to come from. No. Whatsoever. Um, wrapped in a Tiffany's box. You know what I'm saying? Your, your blessing's not always wrapped in a big t- Tiffany's box with a big, pretty white or red bowl at all. So just take it as it comes and, and do what feels good to you. At, at that moment, how big was your team? Me and my five kids and my husband when he was off. I didn't have a team at that moment. At that moment, when you did that show, because at, at that point, you, you're, you're in your local Whole Foods at that point, correct? Yes, but that was, that's like three or four stores. My team was me, them five babies I had, and my husband. Put these tops on these bottles, <laughs> wrap these labels, pack this stuff, let's go get in this car, drive me to Atlanta. Y'all stand in this booth. If y'all, li- when y'all little, little, don't y'all run around. Don't make no lot of noise. Sit down, and I'll be with you in a second. And that was my team. Yes. Who did? Nobody had. you. If you got a team when you first start that's not your blood, that's not your friend, that's not related to you, then you, yeah, you're doing something better than me. No, your team, you got to pull from your resources, from what's around you to build your team. And that's what I had, <laughs> yeah, back then. So... You 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 get this buyer to take interest in you. How many uh-huh. stores did you start out with in Target? Um, I started out with 105. Okay. Could you manage? Well, obviously, you could manage it at the time. Yeah. They, uh-huh. Go ahead. I, I just want to know, because you, you speak about taking your time, but in business and in life, sometimes opportunity comes to you. And like you said, all money ain't good money. You got to pace yourself. You got to know what you are capable of. So if Target comes to you and says, look, I want to put you in 100 doors, 99 out of 100 people are going to be like, yes, and, and I'll figure it out after. Even if they don't have anybody working with them, if they don't have any capital, if they don't know where they're going to get the money to even put, get the product ready to get in the doors. So yeah. for you, when, 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 when this gentleman comes and says, hey, you know, I'm sure you went through the process. They interviewed you and did whatever else they, they, they do before they um, decide to put you in these doors. Was 100 doors something that you knew you could keep up with? Or was it, go ahead. Yes. So 100 is what I asked for. They offered hundreds. I think it was, I don't know if it was like seven. I don't remember but I know it was still just me. And I said, no, I better take a hundred. Now, can you imagine what my check would have looked like? That that image came in my mind, like, whoo, that's the check, that's a big check. (laughs) But I was like, I ain't clowning myself and I'm not gonna set myself up for failure because I wanna win. And I'm gonna take what I can handle. So you could always, as I tell people, grow at your own pace because it'll always get better. And you can always come back and say, I'm ready. And yes, now, you know, it's okay to say no uh, initially. And that's what I did. And when I made um, my first $1,000 off of my brand, I called my sister and I, I was in my truck and I was like, oh my God, I cried. And when I made my first 1 million, I looked at it, I was like, it ain't enough. I need to do more. 
I love that, Janelle. So you said when you first made your, your first 1,000, you cried. Call your sister up, shedding tears. But when you hit that seven-figure mark, you looked I'm, at that check and said, this ain't enough. I got a lot more work to do. Because I'm like, God said, here's a 1,000. That means somebody's interested. And I'm like, God, I'm so emotional. Somebody's interested in what I've been doing. You know, somebody's inter interested in my creeds and what I've been preaching and talking about and working towards. And then he gave me that million. I was like, I got it. A whole ton of people interested. Mm. Now let me hustle and keep hustling harder to get a ton more. You know what I'm saying? That million just kicked me into a uh, beast mode. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't know. It's, it's amazing. How, how, how long did it take for you to turn a profit? Whether it was that 1,000 or whether it was the 1 million, how long were you working before you were able to say, okay, I'm making a few dollars in actual profit. It's not money that I'm, you know, and as an entrepreneur myself, I totally get. When money yeah. comes in, that money's going right back out. Because if you're smart and you are, are truly trying to grow your business, this is not your money. Like it, it, it's there to feed the business. It's there to scale your business. Did it take you a long time to get to a place of being in the black? Um, I think what helped advance a lot was uh, the big box retailer. Um, and once you started, once I started to prove myself at shelf, it just, it was a, 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 a snowball rolling stone. Like it just kept growing and growing and growing and growing. So I would say by the end of that first year, my accountant laughs because he always calls, he calls me very frugal. And by the end of that first year, I sat down and looked at, you know, what, what we have accomplished and what we brought in. And it was like, wow. But yes, you still, I was still, you know, spending a lot on my business and, and investing a lot in my business. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.